Hey everybody, what's going on? I'm Amenadel, aka Green Grow Guy, and today I'm going to add some soil to our potatoes, okay? These are potatoes that I planted about 10 days ago, okay? So when you plant potatoes in approximately 10 days, expect to see this, okay? What's going to happen is, is it's going to start to grow out of the top. Your potatoes are growing down here. All right, also notice this great garden and pail. When you, this is a great find. So if you see buckets and things like that, grab them, okay? You can use these to garden at them, all right? Wherever you can save money, save it. And this is definitely an area where you can save money and become creative and find ways to plant, you know what I mean, to grow and have good yields, you know what I mean, without spending a lot of money because pots can run you up. But anyway, what we're doing today is when I show you guys my videos, I always tell you guys to leave space at the top of the pot. So as the plant grows, like, you know what I mean? You can put the soil down at the root, at the base here. And what will happen is down here in these stems that are nice and thick, they'll sprout new roots that go down into the soil. And that promotes, you know, bigger yields. So today, a part of my, excuse me guys, a part of my routine as far as taking care of my garden indoors urban farming by the way i'm going to say all the tags while i'm getting this ready i'm just preparing this topsoil up and this is a regular load of topsoil i got this if you watch my other videos i still have a couple bags of topsoil that i got from Lowe's, um and i just leave a little bit in the bottom of the bag for instance it's just like this okay so all i'm going to do after 10 days and i got a nice Root system already established. I see my potatoes are coming up nice and husky. I can tell because of the stems, they're firm, they're green, you know, they're not wilting at all. And this also helps with keeping them upright. We're building up around the stem, guys. That's what we're doing. Building up around the stem. All right, this is gonna offer support and more nutrients. All right, because it's gonna happen in the next week or so, these same stems are going to be even thicker because of the fact that now adding this topsoil, they sprout at roots and new places to go down in the soil even deeper. All right? So that's what the goal is here. I'm sorry, I'm trying to get this up in here. You don't have to be real gentle, but you want to do it gingerly because you don't want any of them to break. If they do break by chance, it's not really that big of a deal. Your potato is still going to grow. Um, it just looks nice, guys. I like it to look nice. All right? So I'm going to get it. I'm going to fill it up. Not all the way yet, but I am going to put some, fill it up about almost all the way. Probably leave about a half an inch there. I'm kind of glad this soil is actually already moist because I actually had it outdoors. Usually I have it in my greenhouse, but I knew that I was doing this, so I let it sit out, grab a little bit of moisture, so I didn't have to heavy, heavy water it. I can let this just go on top and continue the watering schedule that it's already on. Okay. And once you do that, guys, you just want to smooth it all out, all right, like you just saw me do. And there you have it. Now, expect in the next week or so, for these to be bigger, for these stems here to be thicker, okay? And the only thing this means is that you're actually slowing down the pro growth process a little bit because now you're demanding that the plant do something additional, which is sprout new roots. At any time um, through its growth phase, you're cutting it, um, asking it to generate new roots and things like that, you actually kind of stun it a little bit, which in this scenario is good. The reason why it's good is because you want the nice size potatoes, okay? So these little, and some stunt growth is okay, all right? And this is some of the growth that stunted that is okay, all right? Because what you want to do is you want to slow down the growth a little bit by doing this, and it's going to help you your bigger potatoes, all right? And it won't affect your harvest at all as long as you're watering the right way, all right? Um, so... I want to thank everybody for watching. Thanks for watching me grow my indoor potatoes. I'll see you next time.